When I was 20 years old, I was a shliach in Kiryat Gat in Israel. And we had something called Shabbat Chufsha, which means once a month, the students don't stay in the yeshiva, and they get a chance to be back home with the families. Now, being that I'm from America, I didn't have really, besides some relatives, I didn't have my direct family. So I went to different yeshivas where I had friends who were in the same situation, who was a great time to hang out. I went to Krach Chabad, one of those Shabbosim, and I remember hearing that if you want to have, a, if you want to see a special site, ancient historic Chabad site of a chassid who's sitting and praying for four or five hours on end, basking in pleasure of godliness with the thoughts of chassidus and yearning to Hashem. So you have to go to a shul over there called the Merkazi, and there's an elder Lubavitch chassid, Rabbi Avram son, who He's sitting there and he's davening. Now, recently a video came out about the song that he sung every Shabbos morning to the words, Ki Rege Ba'apoi. I've been singing a lot, my kids are watching, I've been singing this a lot lately because it really embodies the yearning of Lubavitch Chassid in the ways and teachings of Chassidus, how he doesn't want anything besides being one with Hashem. Unbelievable. The words are that Hashem, His wrath, is only momentarily and by night we, we cry to repent, to return to Hashem, make resolutions to be a better Jew by night after messing up during the day. By night you cry, and in the morning the words from Tilim and we say it in the evening. And in the, in the morning you sing to Hashem. If you cry by night, you can be able to daven in the morning. You can be able to sing properly. You can be able to be excited about Hashem. It doesn't mean crying means you know to, to regret. And then he says, the, 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 and when he sang it, when he said the, those words, I'm gonna sing it on the piano. Um, he, he, the powerful words is, "Mabetza bedami." What do you have by by hurting me? That's what he's telling Hashem, King David. What do you gain? What profit is there to the world, to God, to heaven, to anyone? Me going down to my grave. Will the dust praise you, Hashem? So basically, Hashem needs a living Jew to praise Him. So he, this chassid in Kvar Chabad, who would daven for hours, who we were told to go and watch and daven, he took an old chassid of and he used to push it yearn for Hashem, for closeness to Hashem by these words. That's where I know it from and kudos to that video. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Shame 